<laughs> uh, Yoannis Cespedes played left field in a simulated game today. Should he be the Mets starting left fielder, Sal? Initially, my reaction was, what are they doing? Just leave him alone at DH, let him get the at-bats and help in that lineup. But when you think about it, not only should he be their starting left fielder, he is their only left fielder. They don't have a good defensive outfield. They don't have a real left fielder. All the names you throw out there, McNeil, J.D. Davis, Dom Smith, none of these guys are actual left fielders. So assuming Cespedes is healthy, and if he's not, they're not going to put him out there. Assuming he's healthy, he is their best left fielder on the team. They are better for that with him in left field and then you can get one of those bats like let's say J.D. Davis who doesn't have a position he can be a DH I think they'd be uh, better off if Cespedes was healthy having him be their everyday left fielder Anthony you've been telling us throughout this whole time I've played with Jonas Cespedes don't be surprised if he shows up in good shape ready to go and proves everybody wrong we've talked about the Andy Martino voiceover in the workout video the hype video already um, so are you the only one sitting at home looking at this video seeing that he's playing left field and simulated games and not being surprised by it? I'm not surprised at all he's playing left field, and I think he needs to be out there a little bit. The problem is, when I said all those things about Yohan Assessmanis, he's an offensive guy. That's what he thinks about, because he thinks about money. His contract years so far were basically 15 and 16. After 15, he got that contract, three-year, $75 million deal with the Mets. He opted out of that after that year. Then he got a, a four-year, $110 million deal with the Mets. And, and he's looking for a way to get paid. He doesn't think that he's going to get that defensively. He thinks he's going to get it offensively. His last three years that he's actually played, 16, 17, and 18, his defense has been atrocious, among the worst in outfielders in Major League Baseball. So putting Dom out there, putting J.D. out there, both not good so far in their careers. I'm not saying that we should. I, I know that Uenis has been out there. He's been a center fielder in the big leagues, for gosh sake. So maybe this guy should be the one out there. But... I don't necessarily trust him in the outfield. I trust him at the plate to hit. That is where he's going to try to make his money, and that's what he's going to try to do this year. Anthony, I think you raise an interesting point there about uh, his motivation there uh, in terms of he's going to want to stay on the field too. So we know he's a guy with a history of being a little bit reluctant to do things he didn't want to do. He once gave Terry Collins a really hard time because there was a blowout, and Terry took a couple of veterans off the field first. and. Cespedes felt disrespected and kind of went after the manager. Jose Reyes and his Drupal Cabrera had to intervene. So you have this history of stuff that goes on with Cespedes. So you wonder uh, what he's going to be willing to do. And as you suggested, Anthony, that may have to factor into how they ultimately use him. Yeah, Anthony was a good point. I didn't think that he would prefer to DH, but that's certainly a compelling argument.